Do you take any of the following? ASA, anticoagulants, blood thinners, antidepressants, MAO inhibitors, antihypertensive, NSAIDs, Parkinson's medication, pain, anxiety, or sleeping pills? Do you or does anyone in your family have a history of pulmonary disease, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, blood disorders, dentures, chipped or loose teeth, skin conditions, renal disease, bleeding, dizziness, fainting, edema, thyroid disorders, asthma, cancer, venereal disease, mental illness? Cancer. Yeah, my father had cancer. Ty? Colon. How long ago? Eight years ago. Deceased? I'd prefer if we could use the term biomedically challenged. I need you to make a fist. It's only a little prick is all. It'll only take a second. You can stand that, can't you? No, I can't. Ah! There. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, it was rather enjoyable, actually. Tell me, have you ever considered a second career in sadomasochism? Any history of GI disorders, anesthesia problems, medication allergies, unexplained vaginal discharge? If you think the IV was bad, wait till you get a load of this. Hello, Taylor. Hi, Doctor. How are you doing today? Well, kind of crappy since you're asking. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, now I'm going to uh, give you something for the pain. OK. And this will put you to sleep for a little while. Hmm? <laughs> okay, now I need you to get on your side for me. Oh, uh, okay. No, 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 not that way. With your rear end facing me. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. Nurse. Doctor, promise me you'll be gentle, okay? Just relax, Taylor. Here we go. Oh. <sighs> Change the channel, I don't like this show. Taylor. Taylor. What happened? Oh. Taylor, uh, well, you should know that we found a fairly large growth in your descending colon. A f a, uh -huh. a growth, Taylor, a tumor. I took a biopsy to find out whether it was malignant, but my best guess is it probably is. But whether or not it's malignant, it has to come out. Do you understand what I'm saying, Taylor? Yeah, I got a tumor. That's a bummer. They'll call you tomorrow with the biopsy results, and I'll be discussing recommendation of surgeons with you soon, OK? Yeah, that sounds good. Call me tomorrow. Now, I have another appointment, so I have to run, but uh, the nurses are here if you need anything. Oh, that's a relief. So it's the same kind Dad had? Yeah. But I mean, They've made advances since then. Yep. I mean, they got to have some new treatments and drugs and stuff, so you got nothing to worry about. I mean, you shouldn't be worrying about anything yet, should you? Nope. I just want you to know that whatever you need and whatever happens, I'm your brother, and I'm here for you. You're not alone in this, man. We're going to get through this together, you and me. Don't ever, ever talk to me like that again.
Jesus Christ, you are such a sarcastic bastard. I mean, you can't even get a disease and take it seriously. It's not a disease, it's a bad cold. Uh. With a cherry on top of it. No, it's, uh, it's cancer. Oh, man. What, are you okay? No. I'm out of boost. But worse than that, I'm gonna have to tell Melissa. Jesus, Melissa, spare me. Oh, gracious Lord, spare me. You don't sorry. have to cry. So, what did you just say? I don't have to cry? I excuse me? I mean, my boyfriend just tells me that he's got a... a tumor. Tumor in his... In Colon. There, oh my God, I can't even say it. Just, I'm sorry, but I think that it is a perfectly natural reaction to cry. There's nothing to worry about. I am going to be okay. We don't even know if it's malignant. Malignant, oh my God. Oh my God. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. I'm so sorry, Taylor. Just please, could you do me I'm one so favor, okay? Could you sorry. stop saying you're I'm sorry? I'm sorry that I'm just, sorry, And maybe if you could I'm stop sorry. crying, because I really don't crazy. need it right now. today. Good, thanks. And how are you? Great. Great. How's it going, buddy? Al? Hey, we still got a spot on the paintball team this weekend. Great way to get your aggressions out. Pow, pow, pow! Kill your boss! Want to reconsider? Thanks, but I'd rather kill myself. Loser? Bastards, man. Which fucking bastards? Fucking bastards at the fucking network, man. Oh, those fucking bastards. <sighs> those fucking bastards. The fuckers say my show is too sophisticated. The kids are never gonna get it, whatever the fuck that means. Sophisticated. 
Overly complex. Worldly. I know what the fuck sophisticated means, asshole. It means they're gonna change everything. Bring a bunch of nine-year-old kids to a focus group. Fucking little shits that don't know their ass from a fucking video game. They can focus group my Harry Cock. Hey, come on. Is that any way to talk about our target audience? You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Fuck them, man. Fuck them. We are Emmy-winning writers. We're Emmy-winning cartoon writers. What's the difference? Real writers get Playboy bunnies. Cartoon writers get to play with themselves. Yeah. So how'd that fucking thing go at the uh, doctors yesterday? Pretty good. I got the uh, cancer. Come again? Last time I checked, you were sex, not hearing deprived. Christ! Taylor, cancer? Hey, hey, come on. Like cancer, cancer? What do you want, a megaphone? I don't think Zimbabwe heard you. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I just, it, well, OK, what, what kind is it? It's the colon kind. Oh, fuck, man. Isn't that, isn't that what your dad, uh? Yeah, what are the chances of that? <sighs> Hello. This is Taylor. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks. Well, let's break out the cold duck. I'm officially malignant. Hey, look at the bright side, man. Yeah. Think of the access to all the high-grade pharmaceuticals. Correct. I'm serious. Just remember to share with old Barry. Just do me one favor, Kay. Yeah. Don't uh, say anything to anybody. Not just yet. I, I, I'm about to puke on all the uh, sympathy that's piled on my plate right now. Yeah. Yeah, Scott's honor, man. I got a question, though. Mm. Um, is this shit contagious? Extremely. Yeah? Okay, I gotta go back to the network this afternoon. You're coming with me, right? And your tail's gonna be wagging, your tongue's gonna be out, you're gonna be kissing those guys, right? We'll, uh, we'll get those fuckers. Yeah, those yeah. motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Michelle, and this is Gerald, an intern from UCLA. How are you? So, Dr. Votkiv tells me of a nasty little tumor that's going to need to come out. Yeah, it seems that way. Why don't you lean back and pull up your shirt and I'll uh, examine you. All right. Is it all right if Gerald examines you as well? Oh, yeah, Gerald, come on. Grab a piece of this. Oh. You can sit up now. I'm sure you have lots of questions, Taylor. The first question most people in your position have is, will I need a colostomy bag? I'll tell you right off the bat that the answer in your case is no. Well, thank God. From what I hear, colostomy bags really stink. Right. Now, let's talk about the surgery you'll need. From what Dr. Votkiv said, your tumor is here in the descending colon. The procedure is called a partial left colectomy. And what we do is actually cut the colon here and here and remove that section that contains the tumor. Afterwards, we'll reconnect the two remaining ends of the colon. Thank you. Now, because we'll be taking out that part of your colon that deals with water absorption, 
you might notice after surgery that your stools are softer than usual. If you used to have bowel movements once a day, you might have them twice a day. If you used to have them twice a day, you might have them three times a day. You get the idea. You'll be in the hospital for about a week, and since you're young and healthy, I'd say you'll be just about back to yourself in about eight weeks. Well, that ends my lecture. Now you get to speak. What? What, what am I supposed to talk about? Don't you have any questions? No. Okay. The next step you might take is to get a second opinion from another doctor or... Hell, I don't need a second opinion. I think you and, and, and Gerald here are doing a bang-up job. Let's get me under the knife as soon as possible. Let's go. Well, I must say, Taylor, you're a great deal more enthusiastic than most of my patients. I'm looking forward to this, doctor. Hey, tell me, am I gonna have a, a big, a long scar? I'll do my best to leave as small a mark as possible. No, I want you to give me a big, long scar. The bigger, the longer, the better. When this is all over, I want to have something special to remember you guys by. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. And how are you? You are so brave. Hey, buddy. Hey. What, do I have a big hair hanging out of my nose or something? Even now, you can joke. <sighs> I respect that. Some fucking asshole downgrades my stock, okay? Now it's down over 10 fucking percent. Look at that. Can you tell me why you had to go and open your big fat mouth? Big fat mouth opens quite a bit. You want to give me a clue? Yeah, sure. Um, Scout's honor. Oh, that. Fuck, I'm sorry. Taylor, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I had a, I went out for a drink. Or, like, five with a couple guys from work. They... They forced it out of me, man. It, it... Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? They didn't quite force it out of me, OK? But I mean, it's, it's such a damn fine bit of gossip, man. Seriously, it's the juiciest. It's so much more interesting than who's fucking who in so-and-so's office. It's the specter of death, man. It's, it's, it's like, I, it really holds people's attention, this story. It, I only told these guys, and they promised me they're not going to tell anybody, so don't worry about it. Oh, know? and they didn't tell two friends, and they didn't tell two friends. All right, you know what? Uh, maybe it's a little too late for this, but uh... I don't know, maybe next time you think about entrusting your most precious secret to an insecure alcoholic. Well, nice going, Bill W. Now, everybody's staring at me. Like I'm different or something. Don't you get it? I mean, you are different. Face it, pal. You're on the dance floor of life, doing the electric slide with the grim fucking reaper. And all eyes are just beaming right on you. You are, you are, all of our fears and nightmares and everything that goes bump in the night, dressed to depress and put on display in a department store window. And like a, like a cheap slasher film or a good porno, we're both repulsed by you and fascinated by you at the same time. And by no fault of your own, Taylor, you have entered the realm of walking freak show. Yes, you're different. You're special. We love you. Thanks. Next time you want to cheer me up, just throw me in front of the nearest passing bullet. Hi, Barry. Gwendolyn, hi. Hello, Taylor. Hello. 
When? <laughs> um, so, how you doing? Pretty good. I guess. Good. That's really good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. Well, see ya. Okay. Bye. Since when does Miss Gwendolyn Gazanga, high priestess of every male and possibly every single female self-induced orgasm in this building, know your name? <sighs> Jesus, when does she fucking know my name? It's cancer. Cancer. You lucky fuck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hey, Taylor. I just thought you would like to know that my church group has formed a prayer circle to help you heal spiritually through this difficult time. And I also put your name out on an internet prayer line. And as we speak, thousands of people all over the world are praying for your recovery. Raise your arms, turn to the side, okay, oops I missed it, I have to try again, what? Time's a charm. All right. Oh. Oh. Maybe we should use the other arm. Okay. Did you get it? Nope. Nope. Sooner or later, we're gonna get it. I'm an optimist. today well the tumor causes my breath to smell like a garbage dump and when I pass gas or try and take a shit let's just say that if something crawled up in there and died it would be a blessing oh but thanks for asking All right, I want to I want to make a toast to Taylor. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Um, Taylor, tomorrow you go under the knife for the first time in your entire life, and so we all know what, what a difficult time this must be for you. And uh, that's why all your friends have gathered here at this pity party in your honor. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> to uh, comfort you in in your time of need and, uh, and 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 let you know how how sorry we feel for you. We do. And how happy we all are that it's you and not us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Taylor. What are you doing, man? What? With the, with the booze. What the hell are you doing? I'm getting skunked. You're not a very smart one, are you? 
I'm smart enough to know you shouldn't be getting shit-faced the night before major surgery. Oh, major, sh major. All they said was I could only drink clear fluids 24 hours before I go in. It's not a joke. You should be getting some rest so you could be prepared. You're right. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I've got to take the rest of my laxative. Huh? Very soon, I will be very prepared. <laughs> Dickwad. If you don't die, you deserve to. You won't get any arguments from me. Yeah, don't look now. Here comes the love of your life. Uh, Taylor, mm. where, where have you been? I, I've been trying to reach you. I'm I, I sorry. I've been so crazy there. busy getting well, ready know, for the surgery. I know, but I didn't hear from you. It's like planning a wedding know, or something. I know, I know, but you know what? I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be the first thing that you see every morning when you wake up. And I'm going to be great. sitting by your bedside every oh, day. Oh, Barry! You yeah. Do you remember Melissa? Uh, yeah, him. Barry Hi. tells the funniest jokes. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I got this super dick joke. Super so dick. I, oh, you got to oh, tell her super dick. Oh, but, yeah, super dick. Oh, what? yeah. Listen, this 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 uh, woman walks into a dildo store and, and they're playing this song, Super Dick. And it's like super dick, super, right? Good luck tomorrow, buddy. We're really praying for you, Taylor. Okay, go fuck yourself. Jesus. Taylor? I thought you might be out here. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to wish you good luck tomorrow on your surgery. Wow, that's... that's really considerate of you. Thank you. Mm. It's my pleasure. This is a very nice house you have here. Thank you. It used to belong to my parents. A really big backyard. Oh, yeah. What's back there? Oh, just some fruit trees and stuff. Oh. Do you want to see them? Yes. These are my lemons. They're really big. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, oranges over here. They're navels. I bet they're really juicy. Oh, sure. Uh, peaches. I got I got peaches right there. There's nothing like a fresh peach. No, ma'am. And a fig tree. I read somewhere that figs are the most sensual of fruits. Did you know that? Nobody told me. So where is that tumor of yours, anyway? Right there. <clears throat> Do you think if I kissed it, it would go away? Couldn't hurt to try. Job. Some blow job from some really beautiful woman? Those are great shoes. You know what? You can rot in the hospital as far as I'm concerned because I am not a nothing. I am a strong and independent individual. And I have deep emotions. And I have two cats who love me. And I and I deserve someone who knows that. My therapist. Told me so. So 
So where were we? Uh oh. Oh my God. I am so sorry. Oh, oh, that is just so embarrassing. I, I, I had to take a, a laxative for my surgery tomorrow, and I gotta go. <laughs> Hello, Taylor. Good morning, doctor. And I'll bet a dollar that's Gerald behind that mask, right? I'd recognize that radiating charisma anywhere. You ready for the big day, buddy? <sighs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this, doctor. That's the spirit. No peeking, okay? feeling like I've been used for sushi practice how do I look <laughs> oh warning surgeon general says that laughter can contribute to acute pain There's a tube coming out of my penis. Well, where does it go to? In case you get thirsty later. <sighs> oh. This thing is just... Oh. No, 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 D don't do that. That's for your oxygen. And uh, this, it's for your morphine. Morphine? Cool. You start to feel pain, you push that button, and it'll go right into your IV. I think I feel pain already. Ouch. Oh, the misery. Don't go too crazy with that. Somebody stop me. I'm out of control. Nurse, nurse! Don't you dare come here, nurse! Mr. Nurse! Nurse, I got a pistol bed I can put on a tire fire. You gotta help me now. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing's coming out. My, my peck is burning up. 
Mr. Mesmer, I think we're going to have to put your catheter back in. Oh, Jesus, not the catheter. See if you can get me a private room. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mr. Darcy? Mr. Darcy? I hate to do this to you so early, but I have to take a blood sample. Won't hurt a bit, I promise. Today, you get to get up and start walking. What do you think about that? I think that'll be a miracle. No, just about done. There, all finished. You're gonna get through this just fine. Yes, sirree. In some states, you'd have to pay 50 bucks to get your body fluid sucked out like that. You must be from that state called Tijuana. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, kid. Well, everything looks good down there. You'll be happy to know that the operation went very well and I removed the tumor completely. Oh, you are a master at your craft, doctor. And let me not forget the shy and mysterious Gerald. I thank you both. You're certainly welcome. However, Taylor, 
You should know that the tumor was fairly large and had penetrated the colon wall. I took a sampling of lymph nodes and a couple of tested positive. What this means is once you recuperated from your surgery, you'll most likely be put on a regimen of chemotherapy. Really? Chemotherapy? Yes, but uh, don't worry about that right now. You should just concentrate on getting over your surgery. You can do it, buddy. I have the faith. Your faith is my fuel, doctor. Anna. Anna, please. Chemo, huh? Welcome to my nightmare, kid. Do you think you could uh, turn your TV down uh, just a little bit, please? I think my dead dog could hear it. Oh, yeah? I hope old Fido likes that. Yeah, I just bet he does. Little creep. It's official. I am now in hell. Nurse? Nurse? Break one nine, nurse. person in this hellhole who can't shut my eyes. Don't flatter yourself. I've been here for almost six weeks and I can't remember the last time I slept. Coma patients have no idea how lucky they are. Six weeks? Jesus. I've only been here two days. I already feel like a poodle in a microwave. How do you do it? I read a lot of inspirational literature. Chicken soup for the ivy drip soul. The seven steps to spiritual urinalysis. You know, the classics. Well, you'll have to lend me some of those titles. I need some hope. Ah, well, you just ran into the right lady. As you can tell by the golden halo surrounding me, I am a veritable wellspring of hope. In fact, if they wrap me in plastic and put me on a supermarket shelf, they'd call me Hope on a Rope. It wasn't that funny. No. Don't put your tongue there. You tickle. Well, <laughs> at least somebody around here is having a good time. Shh. You'd better be quiet. She might wake up and have to do something. Right. Do you want some water? No, I just want some ice. I know where to get it. Hey, if you're not busy, why don't you come over to my place? I could use some good company. Well, the company I could do, the good part is gonna be tough. Oh, well. Beggars can't be choosers.
Mission accomplished. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. You'll soon figure out that if you want anything done around here, well, you know the rest. Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. Would you like some? Ooh, tempting. But I'm taken care of, thanks. I like your room very much. Tell me, does your health plan come with an interior designer? No, I'm the creative genius behind all of this. My name's Lynn. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Taylor. So, uh, tell me, Lynn, you, uh, come here often? Oh, you know, as often as my blood cells will allow. And, uh, what's your flavor of affliction? Acute myeloid leukemia, affectionately known as AML. And yours? Colon. The sexy cancer. Yum. Chocolate, my favorite. Oh, God, you just had to go and cross that line, didn't you? Piggy? Miss Piggy? Oh, hi, in here. Oh, you Lynn Piggy? Piedgy. Oh. No, no, I, I think that's for me. They probably just misspelled my last name, or they spelled it right, and you can't tell. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll be sixteen twenty nine, including tax, not including tip. Subtle. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys like in the hospital because you're like sick or something, or just? Oh no, we came for the fresh air. Oh. I can't like get whatever you guys like got. Can I? I mean, I. Oh my goodness, you mean they didn't give you a mask? Oh. M mask? I'd better hurry. The contagion moves quickly. C contagion? Let's see. One, ten, <coughs> four trillion, zero. Darn. I lost count. The brain cells, they dissolve so... Fast. Okay, I gotta kind of go, so can we... <laughs> oh, here we go. One thousand dollars. Okay, but that's only... I know, it's a large gratuity. But please take it. I don't have much longer left to give. Hey! Not even a thank you? <sighs> the help nowadays. You know, something tells me he doesn't have to worry about losing any brain cells. Nope. Mmm, my favorite, corned beef. And the main attraction? Chicken livers sautéed in a generous amount of bacon fat. You want some? No. And, and even if I could? No. What I eat tonight? Even the thought of it will make me puke my guts out in the morning. But right now, it's like heaven between two slices of bread. Taylor? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Methinks it's time for your 4 a.m. bloodletting. Well, let's forget it. How about that? Mm, sorry, can't get out of it that easy. Oh. It was very nice meeting you. Thanks for the snack. Hey, mister, you got any cinnamon to go with those buns? Hey, watch it. A remark like that verges on harassment. You might want a little reading material, huh? For when you get your catheter out. You are disgusting. But consider it. No problem at all. I'm finished with those. Oh, well, you're just disgusting. I will drink to that. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Bottoms up, carcinoma soldier. That is not allowed. For you. Hey, 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 sexy. Take it easy. Why do you have to be so damn responsible? Come on. Someone in here has to be. 
This you can have. Oh, yummy. Ice chips, the staff of life. And this you can have after you leave. Yes, Miss Crabtree. You know, the help in this place? So inconsiderate, man. This place is like Auschwitz with an attitude. I don't know. I'm not kidding. The parking guy tells me to park like this. Right over there! No offense, but Jesus, man. I'm sure glad I'm not you. Except for that morphine drip. That looks tasty. I'm sure glad you're not me either. I would still be wondering what the inside of a woman feels like. <laughs> Touche, asshole. Hey, did you talk to the doc about getting me that Vicodin? Huh? You know, his name is not Dr. Feelgood. Yeah, but it could be. And it's not for me, man. It's for my, uh, my sister. She's sick, man. You don't have a sister. Yeah, but I want one. We miss you at the office. Yeah? How bad? Not that badly. Your chair is much more comfortable than mine. Hello? Any sick people home? Uh, yes. Can I help you? Hi. Sorry, I was looking for Lynn. I'm her neighbor from down the hall. Oh, well, Lynn is uh, busy right now. Gotcha. Um, could you just tell her that Taylor stopped by to borrow a cup of sugar? Sugar? What are you talking about? Nothing. It was a joke. Joke? You think making light of my daughter's condition is funny? Oh, of course not. No, no. You, of all people, should know that this is not funny. Looks like you're busy. Should I come back when you're finished? No, no. Actually, I, I was wondering if, if you could just help me for a second. I was wondering, which way does this thing go? <gasps> Some things are better left unexplained. I, uh, I came by to visit you earlier. Yeah, I heard. I was indisposing. Had the chance to meet your mom. She's a real sweetheart. Yeah, well, what can I say? She means well. She really does. She's my mom. Wasn't your hair a different hair last time we met? Yes. That is the amazing thing about chemo. You lose your hair, you can always buy more. Eyebrows are real, though. For some reason, they decided to stay. Oh! I, I almost forgot. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? What is it? Well, every now and then, the sick and helpless here in the cancer ward are lucky enough to have a very special person come visit and pour a little sunshine over our heavy hearts. I don't think I'm going to like this surprise. So here he is. A great talent, known and beloved to the small few who have ever had the pleasure of seeing him perform, the strolling minstrel. Hey there, how y'all feeling today? Oh, geez, I'm suddenly very queasy. Oh, man. Well, it's a good thing I'm here then, because the strolling minstrel is the doctor who's got the remedy to shoo those blues away. Do you know what that remedy is? Um, cyanide? <laughs> oh, no, man, music, beautiful music. You know, life is like the ocean. One moment it's calm and peaceful, and the air is still. You can hear a whisper. Then, in the blink of an eye, it changes. Storm clouds roll in. The sky grows dark, moist. The sea begins to churn, tossing our little boats right. to and fro. Uh, we get scared and uptight, but soon we realize there's no reason to fight. 
All we have to do is give in and go to the light. Oh, this world has got you down. Life with all its pain and heartache. tired to turn your frown upside down just close your eyes don't bother to wake go to the light let your angel wings take flight go to the light i hear that it's out of sight when you've given all you've got you're almost in a vegetative state. Don't despair over all the things you're not. You can't start again when you reincarnate. So go to the light. Like you, ah, well, you got nothing to lose. Hey, go to the light. Let your angel wings take flight. Go to the light. I hear that it's out of sight. <laughs> Woo! Right on. <laughs> Bye. Hey, friend. What's wrong with you? What do you mean, nothing's wrong? <laughs> yeah, there is. You were singing, and you're smiling. It's unnatural. It's, it's not right. Are you sure they didn't make a mistake and lobotomize you instead? Now, there you go, spoiling my fun by reminding me of my shitty personality. This is uh, my annoying little brother, also known as Evan. Hi, I'm Lynn. I have leukemia. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're obviously some sort of demonic witch who's stolen my brother out of his body and replaced him with someone else. Whatever you do, don't bring him back again. I'll do my best. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm sure to leave a handsome scar. Fine work, doctor, fine work. Well, I am too pleased, Taylor. Ow! Ah. Ah. It looks like you're healing well. We're going to start you on a liquid diet today and see how you do on that. That means jello, soda, broth. Mm. Just take it slow, buddy, okay? Remember, you haven't eaten anything in a few days now, so you have to let your body ease into it. You could count on me. We're also going to take out that catheter of yours so you can urinate on your own. Yes. Keep up the spirits, buddy. Ha, ha, ha. I beat you to it. Ah, you. Whew. Hello, darling. I am so ready for you. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Ah, you must be the food lady. Look at this. All the good things in life, right? Nice meeting you. Blue food.
Wow. Mmm. Oh, man, it's that good. Oh, are you kidding me? Hi. Hi. How you doing? Well, they took the catheter out of my penis and I ate a bowl of jello. Not at the same time, of course. So I am feeling pretty damn good. No more uh, carting around my urine in a Ziploc baggie. I just get to pee freely now anywhere I want. And look, they fit me with these very stylish pajamas. Huh? Well, that's good. I'm glad for you. How are you doing? I'm okay. Really, I'm downright chipper. Come on. If you want to complain, you could complain to me. Bring it on. No one is a better expert at complaining than me. I've been through this before, you know. When I was 12. The chemo, the needles, the people that give you deep, meaningful smiles, but still manage to make you feel like some sort of a circus freak. All of it. But I beat it, and I was okay. I met this man at the hospital recently who said that when you're well, you have a thousand wishes. And when you're sick, you only have one. And I realized that I have so many plans But I relapsed. I found out on my birthday. Can you believe that? What a joke. I can't even see my dog. That's so dumb. They should allow dogs in hospitals, don't you think? So this morning, my oncologist came in and she told me that I can never have children. Just like that, like it was nothing. And I'm beginning to think that I'm never gonna get out of here. I'm being a victim, and I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor. At least that's what they tell me. Hey. <laughs> you are going to get out of here. I promise. Thanks. But you and I both know you can't keep that promise. I said, I promise. Okay. But there's nothing I hate more than someone who doesn't keep their promises. Except maybe Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, I got something that is going to cheer you right up. Feast your eyes upon this sucker. Pretty cool, huh? 
Can I touch it? Yeah, be my guest. It's disgusting. Well, don't hold back. Tell me what you really think. No, I mean, it's really, really disgusting. Do you smoke pot to help you with your chemo? No. I smoke to get high. <laughs> I to see it spilled. Have some more. reach a lot further than that. Don't. It really hurts when I laugh. My guts are gonna spill out of my stomach. Don't worry, I'm sure they got a mop around here someplace. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm serious. It hurts, okay? So just... I'm not gonna laugh. Hey. Where's your mom? I miss her. <laughs> oh. Hey, speaking of parents, how come yours never come and visit? Well, I'm sure they would. If either one of them were alive. <laughs> oh. oh, why am I laughing at that? Huh. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. Oh, it happened such a long time ago. My, my dad had cancer, the same kind I got, but they found it too late. So by the time they cut him open, it had already spread to his liver and his lungs and nobody could do anything about it. Now my mom also died from cancer, but she didn't actually have cancer. Not really. What do you mean? Well, my mom never really got over my father dying. She was sad all the time. And one day she just guzzled down a bottle and a half of Blue Label Gin and she walked onto a freeway overpass, you know where the 10 and the 405 meet? And, and she just jumped off of it. She didn't even leave a note. Oh, my God, Taylor, that's horrible. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But you know, in every tragedy, you could rummage through the rubble and you could just find a, a gem, a golden nugget. And it caused me to realize the single, all-encompassing, prime, most important maxim in all of life as I know it today. And what's that? Don't ever love somebody so much that you can't live without them when they're gone. Hmm? Do you like that? No, that's a terrible maxim. I hate that maxim. Wow. It's, it's worked for me. I, I see it as, as a trade-off, really. You know, you got apathy or torment. Apathy, torment. I'm gonna go for apathy. So why not let the tumor eat you into oblivion? Why even bother with the hospital? I don't know. I came for the food. What's your problem, chemo girl? Don't you realize what's going on here? People are struggling just to take one more breath so they can make it to one more day. 
But you've just got it all figured out, right? You just sit back and let the pain pass over you like a great big shadow. Jesus, give me a break, would you? You're a coward. Terrified because mommy's not here to hold your hand through the big, bad, scary parts of the movie anymore. <laughs> Sweetheart, fuck you. Nice comeback. Uh, you know, I don't need this shit from you. I don't even know you. What's the matter? Did I hit a soft spot in your apathy armor? Are you suddenly feeling something now? Cunt. <sighs> Get stoned, Lynn. Good idea. Okay, honey. You're gonna be okay. Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I am really very sorry. I didn't mean to call you a cunt. Well, actually, I did mean it at the time. But I didn't mean it. Mean it. Well, actually, I did mean it. Mean it. But it was only for a short second. And I shouldn't have said it because you were just being honest with me. to make love to me. I thought you hated me. Well, maybe for a short second. Is, um, is this gonna be possible with RIVs and my stomach and everything? Trust me.
Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, my. Taylor, I think you've met my mother. Standing next to her is my father and my oncologist. Well, hello. It's, uh, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Piedgi. Piedgi. Yes, it's, thank you. Taylor, is it? Yes, Taylor, right. Morning, Doctor. I think I'll go take this up with the nursing staff. Well, I don't recognize these as my daughters. They must be yours. Why, yes, they are. Would you like to put them on? Oh, don't be shy. This is a hospital. Just imagine I'm one of your nurses. If you don't mind, I very obviously have some things to discuss with my daughter. Oh, sure, no problem. Thank you. Ah. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Mr. Piedgi. Mrs. Piedgi. Lynn. Have a nice day. Well, hello. Well, hello. Heard you were a bad boy last night. Mm. Naughty, naughty. naughty. <laughs> it certainly was. <laughs> Good for you. Well, today's a big day. You are finished with your IV and morphine. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's celebrate, shall we? What do you say you put some vodka in my jello? Uh, if I could, I'd join you. There, I'll finish. You're off your leash now. Don't go straying too far, you dog. Kind of tickles. <laughs> hey, next time, let's use scotch tape, okay? Oh. Well, Taylor, <clears throat> your wound is healing very nicely. I'm going to upgrade you to a soft diet and see how you do on that. Okay. If all goes well, you should be out of here in about a day or two. You're my star patient, buddy. You're my star doctor. 
Come on, Gerald. Just once. For old time's sake. <laughs> That's my boy. We'll see you. For me? Oh, bless your heart. How are you today? That's good. I'm fine, thanks. Wow. Whoa, this is this is a soft diet? That's what it says here. Are you sure I'm supposed to be eating all this stuff? All I know is what it says right here. It says right here this food is for you. Gee, maybe, maybe, would, would you mind getting the nurse? Look, it says right here. And if it says right here, then this food is for you. Ah, mercy! I'll eat it, okay? I'll eat it, just so I don't have to hear you say it says right here again. You freak. Oh, man, is that good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm, wow. Oh. Oh. I don't think I'm feeling that great. Oh. Uh. I don't hear anything unusual. That's because nothing's fucking moving in there. Mm, it's just a minor setback. I don't think it's anything for us to worry your doctor about. Oh, of course not. What constitutes a major setback? A body bag? I have other patients to check on. I'll look in on you later. Hey, sir, Peach. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't lose any sleep over it. Cute. I'm gonna fucking explode. You're not gonna explode, Taylor. I'm not gonna let you. Why, because you like me or something? That, and it would be very unsanitary. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, take some deep breaths. <sighs> Feel better? No. I could sing you a song. No. You sure? It'll put you out of your misery in no time, I promise. <laughs> Here's your dinner. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Sorry, don't have time to kid around. I have an important job to do. Uh, excuse me, take this food out of here. Excuse me? You heard me. I said get this food the hell out of here before I pick it up and throw it at you. All right. I am just doing my job. My job is delivering food. If it says here I'm supposed to deliver it, I deliver it. I really don't think you should be so rude. Get out of here before I set you on fire and piss on your ashes! Out! Out! That was so cool. Is there a reason you're forcing me to walk when I'm moments away from a horribly painful death? It'll get your insights moving. Oh. Besides, I thought a leisurely stroll in the great indoors would do you some good. Oh. oh the sweet smell of rubbing alcohol and well-aged urine. Oh. Mm, breathe. Cool. Let it in. And over on the left, you can hear some of our local wildlife. That is the mating call of Lungus cancerous patientis, also known as the common lifetime smoker, a species indigenous to these parts. Are you okay? No, I think I'm gonna... Okay, follow me. No. Excuse us, here's the vomit. Oh. Isn't it romantic? Well, you know what they say. It's not what you do, it's who you do it with. Thank you. Is there any 
anything else I can do for you? Yeah. How about that song? I'm afraid you're far too weak for that. Do you think? Will you just stay with me? I won't leave you. Just uh, make one stop down the hall before I go. Sure. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to intrude, but would it be okay if I said goodbye to Lynn? Oh, you're, you're discharged. Sure. Yeah, okay. Well, they're booting me out of here. I get to go home now. Whoopee, huh? I don't know if you could hear me or not. But I just wanted you to know that I never got the chance. What's the point? Mr. and Mrs. Piaggi? Yes. I'm, I'm Dr. Barry of hospital administration. And? And um, I, I was wondering if I, if I might be able to talk with the both of you about your daughter and her experiences here at our institution. If you'd like, we can get some coffee in the waiting room. It's quite nice in there. Why not? We could both use some coffee right now. Fantastic. Follow me, please. Doing. 
I'm getting you out of here. Thank you. Enjoy. Terrible sweet tooth. Mm. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Piaggi. Thank you very much for, for taking the time to meet with me. <clears throat> I would like to talk to you, if I, if, I, if I may, about your daughter's experiences um, here at our hospital. You said that before. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Absolutely right. This hmm, needs a little more sugar. If you could, excuse me, one second. daughter, um, Lynn, is it? Yes. Has, uh, been with us here at the hospital for how long now? This time? Yes. Six weeks, four days. <laughs> wow. Six weeks, four days. Now, is it, um, safe to assume that, uh, six weeks, that she's, uh, consider her stay a, a pleasant one? Well, she has leukemia. I think it's safe to say that it's been anything but pleasant. Of course. Of course. Now, do you think your daughter would uh, recommend our fair hospital to any of her friends that had leukemia? What kind of a doctor did you say you were? I didn't. Well, I think it's time you did. Will you hold that thought? Help her hold that thought? Okay. The caffeine, my bowels are about to... <laughs> Lynn. What? What? What have you done with my daughter? I haven't done anything. Well, she's not in her room. Where the hell is she? I don't, I don't know. Look, 
I want every person in this goddamn hospital who isn't comatose or dead to look What's for my daughter. Lynn is gone. What do you mean I don't know. They took her. Who took her? I don't no, know. We'll do everything we can. Go oh. try to be calm. Where is don't she? you tell me to be what? calm. She's my daughter. Who took her? I don't know. Oh, please go find her. Right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thought it out that far. Typical. A guy takes you out, he doesn't have anything planned. One day I'll meet a man who knows where he's going. And I'll meet a woman who isn't a nag. Ah, oh, fat. 